some uh, nine months ago, the um, situation in Ethiopia, as you have stated, was very bad. The near possibility of uh, state collapse, mainly due to the government uh, respond to the public political and economic demand pushed the nation into dangerous course. What makes the situation more dangerous was the poor relationship among the leadership. There was misunderstanding, mistrust, and mutual suspicion among the top, the top leadership. Due to this problem, we collect data from different sources. We analyze using different techniques and mechanisms. And definitely, if you use different source and different mechanism to analyze the information, the output cannot be identical. So having or seeing the problem from different perspective, we can't uh, find a solution to solve uh, the problem and to change the situation. Uh, to make long story short, when the situation gets worse, we sat for weeks to discuss and to evaluate as a party. Then we have achieved, uh, finally we have achieved leadership change. Not only leadership change, but also peaceful power transfer, which is a very rare experience in Africa. Right after the change, the new leadership decided to, uh, to, to, to listen from the public the opinion, the grievances, so as to make a communal solution to resolve, to, resolve, to resolve the current problem of that time. Then we have discussed with almost all corner of the country. We have uh, traveled and we have discussed with the public to hear their grievances and their uh, demands. Mainly their demand where uh, they complained about the government, uh, about our indecision, also the widespread uh, injustice both in politics and economics, as well um, human rights violation. What we did was we didn't undermine the public grievance. We just sat and evaluate all questions which came across the country. Though we prioritize to fix some of the problems in Queens and others in institutional reform. Like I mentioned before, we uh, automatically lifted state of emergency. That was one of the questions of the public. And released thousands of prisoners, uh, including journalists. Today, we don't have a single journalist in prison, and we are proud of that. That's also rare these days, huh? If, if you are open-minded and open-hearted, you can learn. It's not bad sometimes to learn from Africa as well. <laughs> Anyways, not only this, we also uh, invite all opposition party. Uh, we're based abroad. Uh, not only opposition party, but also, also waged armed struggle against uh, the government. Uh, they all are back now. We don't have any opposition party abroad. We're discussing how to change the political landscape and how to make the upcoming election democratic, free, and um, a better one compared to the previous one. These kinds of action change the mind of many Ethiopians, that the hope is there, the, policy, the possibility of change uh, also there. Then automatically, after we have done this quick wins, we jump to uh, institutional reform, including SSR reform, security service reform. It was one of the biggest complaints on security institutions and service. Also, we reduce cabinet from 28 to 20, and we realize gender parity in our cabinet. So by doing so, we could uh, uh, gather most of the extreme toes, toes to the center. But still, we have to do more. We're not uh, satisfying on our reform. We have to include all kinds of thoughts to change Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a very great country, and the government must play its great role so as to bring Ethiopia together and to be Ethiopian first. I thank you.